Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to load a new hatch in Revit. So, you'll be using hatches if you're modeling anything in Revit in all non rendered views. You need to have hatches just to add some material or some texture to to your faces or, or sections or whatever. So, adding new hatches can make your floor plans look a lot more interesting and that's why I'm going to show you how to download some hatches from the internet and how to load them into your Revit projects. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am on this website called Cat Hatch and I'm going to be leaving the link in the description so you can check out this website and here let's see let's say I want to use this stonework hatch and let's see yeah this let's say yeah this one looks nice so let's say I want to use it so I'm just going to click on it over here and it's immediately it has downloaded this dot pat file so this is all the CAD and Revit hatching that that we have so it's uh, in this dot pat file so if I go in Revit right now so here I am this is a house I'm working on just for a school project so I'm going to be loading this hatch over on this uh, this floor so if I go here to floor plan or prizemlje as we say it in Serbian uh, I'm just going to change this uh, this face right now so I'm just going to go into edit type so go to type properties go into edit and here we need to change it for the final finish and I'm just going to change the final finish to some stone so let me find stone and let's say let's see what we have yeah this limestone looks nice and if we go here to surface patterns as you can see we have nothing so we need to load our new texture in here so let me just hit apply over here right now and close out of this and we load all of our new textures in, by going here to the manage tab and then going to additional settings you open this up and you have here fill patterns and once you're here you can go here to new fill pattern and you get this dialog so you just change the type from basic to custom and now here you can load your new hatch so you just go to browse and you go to your downloads folder and you search and you see let's see which one was that one that I used it was this H stone for the OK so that's the one we're going to use so that's this one just go open and as you can see we can't really see it so let's try changing the scale to 0.1 let's see let's do 0 0.01 okay now we can see it so usually these hatches when you load them in are too large so you need to change the scale and make them a bit smaller so you can see them on your screen then you just hit OK and again OK and now let's select this go into edit type go into edit structure last layer and here for the foreground hatch let me search for our new hatch here it is just go OK and let's use this gray color go OK OK apply OK and here we go so if I zoom in you can see our new hatch is now applied to this face and even if I go into 3D you can see it's applied over here okay so that's how you load new hatches in Revit I hope you have learned something new thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day